Well, welcome once again to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Still, I think one of the greatest games because it's just one of those great things to sit back on the lounge and just enjoy. But if this is how you're flying your plane, there's so many better options. Let me show you one. This is the Velocity One flight from Turtle Beach. Now, Turtle Beach, everyone knows, big into gaming. Whether it's headsets, you name it, they've got it for gaming. And this is a solid entry into the flight simulator game because this is a great yoke with throttle controls all in one. And I really want to see how it works because there's something very unique about this that I haven't seen on any other yoke. All right, so it's instantly recognized the Velocity One flight, which is great, and we're gonna keep it as default. Now, let's see if we can almost instantly get back into flight without, having, without knowing anything. I do have to peel off a little bit of that there. So these are obviously customizable in here, and that must be what these replacements are, so that you can change they look like caution lights they're not buttons they're actual caution lights in there for different applications so that i like the look of uh b for back i don't know where kind of up and down navigation is here so this screen here i don't know if you can see it but this has its own whole deal profile sync what are we flying a single engine prop yes wow okay Anyway, let's look at that in a minute. Let's just see if we can get this bird in the air. Oh yeah, we got flight, look at that, straight away. Now, you probably can't see the throttle indicator on the screen, unfortunately. I need trim here, but what I wanna find out is, okay, so those are th throttle controls are working. Obviously those don't mean anything, it's just this one. Whoa, 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 let's not stall this thing. Um, so I'm just watching this throttle control immediately work. What I'm wondering is, yes, these, and this is what I'm talking about with Unique. I'm gonna put that down and use this one. These are Cessna Vernier throttle controls. So on a Cessna, you don't have, in fact, we can probably see inside this plane if we switch views. I don't know if we can look around. Yes, we can look using this. Oh, it's a bit, it's a bit clunky. Uh, oh, here we go. Look at those. On the screen there, the same style throttle control. Oh, that's awesome. So I haven't seen that on any other of the rigs I've seen from, uh, say, I don't know, Airbus, the, the Boeing unit from Thrustmaster, the Honeycomb, the Logitech. Those are very cool and they are they're just very subtle controls. Now, there's a lot of options here, which I'm assuming, frankly, will be very much for the PC because there's so many button controls over here, which you wouldn't get on the Xbox. One of the things you'll know with Xbox controls, things like steering wheels on racing games, stuff like that, they can have millions of buttons for PC controls, but there's only a certain number of buttons that can be configurable uh, on an Xbox, basically the number of buttons that are on a controller. So this is essentially wasted on an Xbox, but it worked beautifully on an Xbox. And that's, I think, what's really, really great about it. Let's see if we've got rudder control anywhere here. No, that's view, and that's that'll be left and right. I don't know what those buttons are doing. Ah, there's button control on the trigger. Very nice. So rudder control on the button. That's actually a really nice way to land. So trigger, left and right trigger. You'll see that there. That's that uh, rear rudder. And I don't care if that's not the correct term, flight sim people, pilots, that's what I call it. Who cares? I had someone tell me that it was the horizontal stabilizer or something. Mate, I only see those words when I'm watching air crash investigation. I am your average gamer. Average, below average, probably. This is the kind of thing that you could hook up to your coffee table, enjoy a few hours of flight or even just a few minutes of flight like this here and it's just lovely uh, so we're on the internal view yeah look at that that's lovely 
It's, um, let me say straight up, I, there's better yoke controls out there. I think the Thrustmaster and the Honeycomb outweigh just this literal yoke here. It's very, maybe it's just because it's hypersensitive, but it also feels a little bit, I don't want to say cheap, it feels a bit plasticky, it doesn't feel real. Whereas I feel like with the Honeycomb and the Thrustmaster, there was, I don't know, just a little bit more, more to it. So the whole idea here is we've got different controls for different style aircraft. I have literally just unboxed this, so I can't tell you too much about it. But what I can tell you is this is a very cool device that with the PC would be probably phenomenal for your mid to average uh, flight sim pilot. I am absolutely loving the Vernier controls here. Thank you to my mate Mark who pointed out the name of them and I hope, hope I'm pronouncing it correctly when I first showed him the photo of this box. But this is under $500, under $500 about $479. Uh, I saw it at the Gamesman for about that price. Um, so that should be the price you expect to pay. There's just a, there's a stuck point in the middle where it, it kind of sits and it feels weird to come past. Anyway, that's, I do love the amount of potential here with things like warning lights and stuff like that. Let me try and put this into a stall and see whether any of the warning lights come on, I guess in a Cessna like this. So stall, oh, anti-stalls set up on the, on the profile. So that's never gonna happen. Um, let me do one quick flick over to the menu and get into a, uh, a jet and see whether there's anything else appears here for us. Oh, the trim wheel works. Just while I was playing there, silly, this trim wheel here in between the uh, the yoke and the throttles, I'm just looking at the trim adjustment, that works and I'm in love. Because the one thing I did learn through all of the training sessions in Flight Sim was adjusting trim, just so you get that, that center point there. So I can now find that center point, adjust my trim, and I've got a decent level of flight. I like it a lot, that's a really nice trim wheel. Very nice. Now they have included a handy large chart here, uh, which tells you pretty much what all the buttons are. And it tells you the difference between a twin engine jet and a single engine prop plane uh, in these controllable properties here. Um, it's, it's incremental, but things like, uh, what can I see there? Spoiler, throttles, um, brakes all look the same. A lot of stuff looks very similar, but you know, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> Disengage parking brake. My goodness. I will say also, um, navigating the menu, almost impossible. I'm sure, it's, I'm sure it is possible, but I found it easier just to have the controller running as well. So uh, again, let's, uh, so I can use this here to, to do that. And click in, A, hey, ready to fly. Let's go on board. Let's look in here and make sure things are working. So there's our, so it's a single. The veneer works as well for a bit of fun. I've gone full throttle there. Joystick button 30. Well, that's gonna be easy to find, isn't it? It has told me br broadly that um, the parking brake is up here and landing gear is to the right, so let's Let's have a look and see whether that is actually correct. If we release brake, yes it does. Uh, and I'm assuming rudders are the same. No, they're not. Oh my God, we have no rudder controls. Oh, here we do. Let me go outside again. Here we do. Rudder. Let's give it full, full beans. Hang on, that appears to be flat, not throttle. Maybe that's in auto mode. So keep it a little bit tidy there. Look up a little. Uh, meh. Let's, let's rotate. Oh, don't like the sound of that at all. It's in auto mode for me here. I haven't used this Xbox in a while. I hate the inside view. 
Now let's see if the landing gear is the right toggle. Yes, it is. So left and right toggle as per this map. So learn this, people, learn that. That's what you need to do. Let's have a fly around of this beautiful car, beautiful plane here, EFTM 29. Thank you very much. I love that view. I don't have this, the world update on this Xbox either. Yep, this works. This is all you want. For an average flyer, this is perfect. But the potential here is ridiculous. Let me just sit here for a minute and think about this, right? So you've got all the basic controls you need, like trim, for me, throttle, trim, rudder, and yoke. It's pretty much all I use, landing gear, parking brake. That's pretty much all I use when I'm flying around. But the fact that we've got these, I've got to hook this up to the PC at some point. I've got to re-download there. These warning lights, you've got this customization so you can have your own save preferences to different uh, aircraft. And the amount of potential buttons here is a little bit insane. Now it's probably on honeycomb levels in terms of the number of buttons but I would say it's a step above honeycomb in terms of things like the screen, the warning lights, and even just the trim wheel. I, I think this is great value for under 500 bucks. Great little addition to any home who loves their flight sim. So, and the good thing is with those just simple two, um, two mounting points, your average coffee table, that's all you need. Love it. Oh, now before I go, I've just discovered something very cool about this little display here. I've cut the engines, don't know how. So basically, you can put this in training mode and it shows you on the screen what it's for. So it says here, training, yoke, assigned to ailerons. I can click this to the right, assigned to rudder trim left, assigned to rudder trim right. I don't think that's true. Rudder, there we go. Oh, geez, stop doing that, Trev. Now, if I push this button over here, parking brakes start engine so i actually push the buttons it tells me what they are fuel valve fuel pump increase flaps decrease flaps taxi lights autopilot master on or off landing gear landing lights i feel like this is a pc version but change view reset view air cockpit free look external free look aileron trim Park brake, rear brake. So it's a great way to learn what everything is, is frankly just by clicking. And there's also a nice little stopwatch in here so you can see the local time and set your stopwatch so you know your flight time. Meanwhile, this Airbus, I wouldn't want to be a passenger in it. lining up here for um, oh that's engine one that's engine two uh, for a bit of a 16L they don't know we're coming in but that's their problem look we've lined up gorgeously for uh, 16L so let's give it a whirl Probably coming in a bit low. It's just, it's not as smooth as you'd like in, in the motion. That's probably my only feedback is, it feels like there's a point where it clicks and it's a bit frustrating. Not oh, too high, I need the guides. Feeling good about this. Feeling pretty good. Probably just a bit high. I think we're coming in a bit hot. Come on, come on. Throttle off, engine off, parking brake. 
How do we how do we pull it up? This has not gone well. Because I don't know I don't know how to stop. We've landed on the water. I'm no good at it. It's unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while since I've had a crack, okay? Thanks for, thanks for flying EFTM Airlines. It's been great. <laughs>